Welcome back. Okay, we are on the last question of uh, paper two, question twelve. Okay, first is the Euler method. Okay, so uh, step is a pi over twelve, and then go to five pi over twelve. Starting point, yes, this one. Pi over four, pi over four. First, you need to move this uh, to the right hand side, and then you find out dy dx equals square root tangent x plus y cosecant 2x okay so get ready for your calculator you draw the table okay draw the table x y dy dx yes very uh, calculator calculator so starting one is power for four power for four substitute to the equation and you will find out the dy dx at this point okay substitute all the things here a lot of calculation okay okay well got it yeah you got it 1.7854 remember the result the final result is three significant so do at least a two significant more and then next step is a pass pi over 12 so this one pass pi over 12 and actually it is uh, after simplification pi over three uh, Easier to use, okay. Use power of v to substitute to the result, and then y. The real y is the o y plus dy dx times pi over 12. Okay, calculator time. Yeah, you got it. 2.1876. And then another substitution to find dy dx. Pause the video and then check afterward. Welcome back. 3.8421. Okay. Very tired but promising. Last step already because uh, pi over 12 plus uh, pi over 3 actually is bingo. 5 pi over 12. Oh, we are right at the point. Okay. Calculation time. You got it. Okay, it's final result is a uh, fee same because it's five point two one. Well done. Okay, for pass B is a song question, so you start from the left hand side way. You differentiate it, okay? Becomes one over two cotangent x, okay? And then differentiate cotangent it is a uh, negative cosecant square x, okay? At first, uh, you don't know how to simplify, so make them uh, side cosine tangent, right? Easier to manage, so flip it, okay. One over cotangent become uh, tangent. And then cosecant becomes one over sine. And then um, two is here. And then what's next? Ah, side over cosine, okay, expand the... Uh, Tension x by the identity. Tension equals sine over cosine. To see anything uh, helpful, yes, yes, yes. Cancel out one and then join together becomes negative one over two sine x cosine x. Good, good, good. I can feel with the identity. What's the denominator? Yes, sine two x. And then what is 1 over side 2x? Yes, cosecant 2x. So it is negative cosecant 2x. Well then, okay, we do did two parts, okay? And then we will go on for the other. See you.